Hi, my name is Scott Wilson, and this is an art night event of uh, canvas and cocktails. First of all, let me ask, uh, is there anyone who's done an art night event before? I see a few faces. Um, and I would like to start the proceedings by saying this is a low-stress event in that um, pretty much everyone comes out with something that they can be proud of. And secondly, if you don't come out with something you can be proud of uh, and hang on your wall, it is only a painting. Remember, nobody's work is going to be making it into the Louvre because of what you do tonight. And um, this is about having fun. This is about not being judgmental. And, um, well, okay, uh, first a little bit about me. Uh, I'm Scott Wilson. I'm the president of the Kingston School of Art. I teach a few lessons there off and on. I'm a working artist, a painter, and printmaker. Um, I've been doing it for a lot of years, and I really, you know, enjoy and like the process, and this is kind of something that I'm hoping to add as a quiver in my book of, of being a working artist. The painting that we're going to do is the one behind us here. I'm calling it Whitefish. It's done in two stages. Um, and the first, of course, is going to be the background. And then we do the pattern of fish at the top. Um, our palette today is pretty much made up of blue and yellow, white and black. Um, quite simple. And uh, we're going to get started. But first, make sure you've got yourself a cocktail because this is nothing but a process that improves with a certain amount of libations in the system. And it's about having fun. So, uh, see what your neighbor is doing, look at what you're doing. Um, don't judge too much on, on anyone around you, and uh, we'll get started. Now, let me just say, first off, that if you don't want to do this painting, if you want to do something completely different, feel absolutely free. You're not going to hurt my feelings, you're not going to hurt anybody's feelings. You're going to express your creativity your way, and that's what we're all about, or at least some of what we're all about. Um, there's more paint up at the front of the room. Uh, we will be using acrylic paint today, uh, so that means um, water. Water is what is used to mix the paint, it is what is used to thin the paint, it is what is used to clean the brushes and materials afterwards. It's a water-based paint. Um, and our palette for this painting is going to be yellow and blue, black and white. Um, new canvas, you know, that you've seen what we're kind of doing. And in front of you, you will find three brushes, a uh, large, a medium, and a small. You will also find a palette um, and uh, water and uh, some paper towel uh, um, to help the process along. And we are going to start with doing, maybe I should have this thing up here for a bit. We're going to start out by doing the background. And we will be putting on the fish in the uh, second stage of this painting. Um, so, starting out with the background, you will notice that there is green. Well, yellow and blue make green. There is also no yellow, but yellow and blue make green. Um, and so that is why it's included. We are going to be trying to, well, not even trying, we are going to succeed in covering the entire canvas. And we are going to be doing it in swooping lines. First, you're going to take some of your blue. Um, just like that. And swoop it across. I suggest doing lazy Z's all the way across. Kind of like that. That is kind of where we're going. Now, add a little bit of yellow 
and you will start getting an aquamarine green. Fold that in as well and continue making your swooping lines back and forth. Um, there's a long way to go. You can add a little white and see what happens. It will make it opaque and it'll bring down the tone of green a bit there. Swooping, easy flowing lines. It's what we're shooting for to have a nice, rounded, sensual quality to them um, that will be covering. Okay, we're nearly at the point where we've got the entire canvas covered. And you will see that some lines have, um, some lines are, are making themselves now. Um, hopefully ones that you like, um, but we'll be playing with them a bit too. Now, the other thing you can do is just take some water and run it over. It will thin things down, but it will then make sure everything's covered. If you want to. So you'll have something vaguely like this, um, which is a nice flowing thing. Putting your uh, big brush away in the water, I then suggest you take out your little brush and you're going to pull out and emphasize some of these lines. I think you should do it by doing triangles um, or triangular-like things. Um, and one of the lines I really like is this swoosh across here, so I'm taking the negative space below it and I'm emphasizing it by doing this and mixing it a bit on the canvas so that you will see it is still going to be a blue gray green, green color but it's made it stronger and you can do the same let's say over here I want to emphasize that arc that's going to change the tones a bit now, I'd also like to add a little bit of darks to it, to, ex to extend it in that direction, which means black. Very little black goes a long way. If you mix the black and the blue, you are going to get a navy blue, or a dark Prussian blue. Um, thin it with water, something like that, and you can accentuate lines In the dark range with it coming across your canvas. I've decided I want one that goes like this. A big swoosh right across the middle, and one that goes, say, here. They don't have to be even like mine, they can be any way you like it. This is actually a very free form creative part of the process. They will hopefully be somewhat in the much of a muchness, but even if not, they will still work very well. And as always, if there's some horrible, horrible mistake that you just cannot live with, it's only painting you can paint right over. A bit more white. White. Now, I haven't crossed any of my lines, but you certainly may. You may do anything you like, because um, it's art, and you are the king and queen of whatever canvas you're working on. Your decisions are the only ones that matter. And at this stage, I'm going to uh, leave that the way it is, and put my brush away, um, and come around and see if I can help anybody, get you some more water or whatever. It's always good to have fresh water, keeps things clean. Um, and we are also going to take a break once you've finished your backgrounds for 10 minutes. Let it dry and set just a little bit. Okay, so we're back from our little break. Hopefully everybody has their drinks refreshed because, like I say, the occasional libation is nothing but good for this process. And we are going to now take in hand doing the fish. 
They're really very easy. They're based on um, the Christian fish symbol. Um, uh, so you start by doing two arts. And I would like to point out um, that the fish are being done on this in a regular pattern, um, all about the same size. And I'm planning on doing that here. And I think you'll find it, it um, works out. Now the pattern is all is is very like bricks. Each loop, each line um, that goes across is done at a, a diagonal to the one above it, and the reason for that is adds interest value and it makes for for a bold stripe running across the canvas. Um, but we don't have to get into that. Let's just get into how to do a fish startup. So you're basically. Um, finding a point and you make an arc going that way and an arc up like that. Up, you can make it any way you like. And there's also a side fin. Mix with a little bit of water to take the white down a bit. And we're just doing these in white. Um, and we are pulling it from the center there out. A little bit fatter on the outside than on the inside. And that's the basis of all the fish. In fact, the basis of all the fish really are just the lines. Um, now, you'll want to do a pattern of blue across. You can copy exactly this one if you like. But you can just sort of make it up on your own. Okay, so we have a placement of all the fish that I'm planning on using on this drawing or painting. Um, and don't worry too much about how exactly it turns out because a lot of it gets lost in the busyness of the whole. If there's something that isn't quite as wonderful as you hoped it would be. Um, Although, sooner or later, I have to do one of that or not. Um, just because it feels right to me. And you can go through your entire canvas just uh, doing over your fish this way uh, and uh, play with it a bit. You know, this is. And you will find. It's fun. There we have the painting basically done behind us. Um, everybody should uh, sign theirs, of course, when you're done. Um, and um, hopefully you're very pleased with it. For the sake of this uh, mock video, I'm going to have to be cutting it down to under 15 minutes. So a lot's going to be edited out. Of course, everybody um, should be tweeting and uh, Instagramming and um, sending this work out wide and Hopefully we'll see you at another art night, and um, hopefully this is a good enough audition tape for you. Like I say, because of uploading issues, it's going to have to be under 15 minutes, and um, uh, well, I hope there's enough here to give you an idea of what I'd be like doing it. Uh, thanks for all your attention, and uh, have a great day.